Well, today, just to kind of kill some time in the uh, the lab slash shack, I've been uh, bench testing this crystal oscillator. This is an HP 10544A. It is an ovenized uh, oscillator. It's used in a lot of the uh, earlier uh, HP uh, test and measurement gear, you know, frequency counters, etc. Um, there is a newer version of this. It's the 10811A and it offers a bit better uh, stability and uh, is essentially pin compatible with this version. So if you bought an old frequency counter or some other device that has this reference in it and it's bad, well, you can just simply just swap out a, swap in a, uh, a 10811 and uh, just do the frequency adjustment and you're golden. Now I've had this thing on for several hours now. I've been powering it off of uh, power supply here it's running at 25 volts and afterwards initially when you fire it up it warms up it draws about 560 milliamps now it's down to about 190 milliamps after it's been on for several hours and according to my time interval analyzer we're hovering around 84 millihertz high which isn't too bad for a 40 plus year old oscillator uh, there are some, uh, I am picking up various harmonics, that's to be expected. Uh, we got a, the second harmonic is almost as strong as the first one on the left. So we got a, uh, a 10, a 20, a 30, a 40, and a 50. And uh, since it's so dry today, I'm seeing static spikes. <laughs> Just me moving around in my clothes, so <laughs> it's, it's been a real dry one today. But I've had various uh, pieces of gear on. I checked it on this counter, and it's pretty much the same, what this one says. But a lot of the stuff I have to turn on when I use this stuff remotely from a computer because uh, um, <laughs> these instruments don't like a lot of dead instruments on the HPIV bus. So you have to turn a lot of these things on, <clears throat> and, uh, and then I can actually start talking to the thing. But... Uh, Let's start here by uh, running an Allen deviation plot and uh, see what it comes up to. <clears throat> At uh, 100 seconds or so, we should be within uh, 1 part times 10 to the 11th. So we'll uh, fire up the computer here and uh, we'll see how well this thing actually does. So just for a quick reference, this is what the uh, specifications call for. So at uh, 100 seconds, we should be within 1 times 10 to the minus 11th. And at 1,000 seconds, it should be uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 11th. So I'll fire up time lab and uh, see what we get. So now here are our basic parameters in time lab. We're going to run for 180 seconds, which is 3 minutes, and a reference frequency of 10 megahertz. And uh, we. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, so here we go. So, yeah, I would think this oscillator is in good shape. At, uh, right at the end of the 180 seconds. You know, 1 times 10, or uh, 1 times 1.03 times 10 to the minus 11th. That is pretty darn good. So, short-term stability, yeah, that's very nice. And it... Uh, the Tau 40S, we're at 1.18 times 10 to the minus 11th. Pretty awesome. Yeah, this is kind of fun to move, play around with. I wish my phone would uh, work better. I don't have any screen capture software, so I have to use the uh, stone knives and bearskins method. But uh, yeah, really cool. So I think uh, make this a short video, so we'll. Uh, catch you guys around i got some uh, some new gear coming or new to me gear coming so we'll uh, be posting uh some videos of a couple new pieces so we'll catch you later and thanks for watching